July 31st, 2019 Heard, I am your fierce protector, the God of all the earth, the conquering King, whom shall you fear? Beloved, fear not, your Abba Father is still in control. Do not panic, my child, the earth is mine and the fullness thereof. Though the nations are in an uproar, you are safe beside me. It is the time spoken of by the prophets. It is the last of the last days. The people imagine vain things. The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed. Take heart, little one of mine. He who sits in the heavens laughs, for I see that his day is coming. The king is sitting upon his holy mountain. I wear the victor's crown. Are you not seated with me, beloved? Yes, you have been raised up and seated beside the majesty on high. I will speak to the enemy, dear one. I am roaring your vindication. I am your fierce protector. Though the wicked ones plot against you, they shall never succeed. You shall not ever fear, even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, my child. I have conquered death and the grave. Through your new birth, you are now a conqueror, as I am. You are joint heir of my kingdom. By my hand, all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, rulers or authorities. Lift up your eyes, beloved. Ask of me, and I will surely give the nations as your inheritance and the very ends of the earth as your possessions. Psalm 37, 12 The wicked plot against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. Psalm 2, 1 Why are the nations in an uproar and the peoples devising a vain thing? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed, saying, Let us tear their fetters apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. 1 Corinthians 10.26 For the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. Deuteronomy 10.14 Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the highest heavens, the earth and all that is in it. 1 Corinthians 8.6 Yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom are all things, and we exist for Him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we exist through Him. Colossians 1.16 For by Him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. Romans 8.16 The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children, and if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If we indeed we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. July 30, 2019, I heard, Resetting and refitting, and no more incognito, and I saw the Bride of Christ, gloriously arrayed in white garments, the fiery battle she had been through left not a spot upon her, neither did she smell like smoke, but she was clothed with glory and the fragrance of Christ. Beloved, no longer shall you be hidden from the world. Though you are hidden in Christ from the enemy, the world shall see whose you are. There is no more incognito. You shall no longer be in plain clothes. But my glory shall be very apparent. I am bringing out my hidden ones to be seen.
and heard. My true remnant is rising up in grace and glory. This army will not be camouflaged, but you are shining and brightly arrayed. Yes, my warrior, they shall come to you. They shall come to my light in you. They shall see Christ in you, the hope of glory. I have declared to all generations, it is finished. Yes, the battle still go on, yet the victory is yours, dear one. I have raised you above the skirmishes, above the conflicts, above the traps of the enemy, above arguments and the lies of the enemy. You walk with me in the spirit and not the flesh. You are above and not beneath. Your armor of light is my robe of righteousness and my glorious garments of salvation. Those the world consider nobodies shall be recognized as somebodies. You are my somebody. Oh yes, it is time. Arise and shine, my warrior bride, for you belong to me, and I have made you more than a conqueror. I am refitting and resetting, equipping you, and supplying all your needs. You shall not lack. Fear not, mighty warrior. The Lord of hosts is with you, for your light breaks out like the dawn. Your recovery speedily springs forth. Your righteousness goes before you. And my glory is your rear guard. As I send you forth, you shall draw nations and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Incognito, disguised, undercover, in plain clothes, camouflage, unrecognized, unidentified, anonymous, reset, military, the equipment refurbishment process, a series of actions to restore units to its desired level, of combat capability, commensurate with future mission requirements, refit, military, to make or be made ready or fit, as by repairing, re-equipping, or resupplying, as of Navy ship, Colossians 1.22, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body, through death to present you holy, unblemished, and blameless in his presence, Second Peter 1.19, so we have the prophetic word made more sure, to which you do well to pay attention, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Isaiah 58, 8, Isaiah 60, 1 to 3. See in comments, Amazing Artwork by Ricardo Colon. July 29, 2019 Heard, you dwell in the king's garden, and I saw the bride of Christ walking with Jesus, reveling in the smells, sights, sounds, and tastes of this marvelous place, as the winds of the Spirit were gently blowing all around them. Beloved, at one time, man and woman were expelled from a garden. This was never my plan for you, dear one. Everything changed through their redemption at the cross. The garden of agony of the Son of God has become for you a garden of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. You dwell in the King's garden now, surrounded by my hedges of protection, sheltered by my walled enclosure where you are safe. I have come to my garden, my bride. Here my gentle winds blow. The spices flow out. The fragrance of Christ fills your senses. My sweet honey and honeycomb are on your tongue. Here you drink freely of milk and wine of the Spirit. As it was in the beginning, so shall the end be also, beloved. Enjoy all my fruits, my child, for they are pleasant and good. Living waters flow freely. Come, weary one. Indeed, I shall give you rest and comfort you. You have come to my secret garden through the blood of the Lamb and by my Spirit, and your wilderness I will make like Eden, and your desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness are found here, thanksgiving and a sound of a melody. Rejoice, my child, your residence is in my kingdom garden. Eat, O friends, and drink, drink freely, O my beloved. Holman Bible Dictionary, Garden. 
Hebrew words for garden, gan and gana, root meaning to surround, plots of ground, enclosed or surrounded by walls or hedges. Royal garden, residence of the owner was there. An abundant supply of water was especially important. Into his garden, Strong's Hebrew, 1588, enclosed garden of a bride, garden of Eden. Song of Solomon 4.16 Awake, O north wind, and come, thou south. Breathe upon my garden, that the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden, and eat his pleasant fruits. Song of Solomon 5.1 I have come to my garden, my sister, my bride. I have gathered my mirror with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat of friends and drink. Drink freely, O beloved. Song of Solomon 6.2 My beloved has gone down to his garden, to the beds of spices, to pasture his flock in the gardens, and to gather lilies. Isaiah 51 3. Indeed, the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. And her wilderness he will make like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her. Thanksgiving and sound of a melody. Romans 14 17. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. John 15, 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. July 28, 2019. I saw a child of God who was in the midst of a sea of chaos. The stormy waters were beginning to overwhelm him and close in upon him. And then suddenly, the winds of the Spirit opened up a way through these stormy waters, and he was walking through them on dry ground. Beloved, I am still the God of miracles. I am he who has crushed the serpent's head at the cross. The seas of chaos which surround you shall not overcome you. Though you are in the world, you are not of the world. Do not fear, my child, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you go through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. I am Yahweh, your God, Abba Father, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Will you believe, my child? Will you believe one more time that nothing is impossible to me? You are precious and honored in my sight, and I love you. Do you see the victory ahead, dear one? Do you see the clearing ahead? It is my glory surrounding you and keeping you. I am he who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Keep praying, keep trusting, keep believing, keep speaking forth those things. The be not as though they were. It is already finished, my love. Keep walking with me in grace and power. Do you hear the sound of the Spirit? Do you feel the winds beginning to blow? I shall do what only I can do. Let me amaze you, beloved. I will bring order out of this chaos, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path through surging waters. 40.45 Chaos A state of complete disorder and confusion, often symbolized by surging waters. Isaiah 43, 1. Now this is what the Lord says, He who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you go through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cusha and Seba in your place, because you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give men in exchange for you, and nations in place of your life. Isaiah 43:16. Thus says the Lord, 
He who makes a way in the sea and a path through surging waters. Isaiah 51.10 Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made a road in the depths of the sea for the redeemed to cross over? Psalm 104.7.9 But at your rebuke the waters fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. 1 Corinthians 15.57 but thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. In a vision I heard, I am the God of the turnaround, and I saw Jesus taking His hand and making a reverse circular motion, reversing circumstances and even time itself. Beloved, I am the God of the turnaround. Many of you are feeling like a failure, like you have let yourself down on others. You look at your past and feel regret. The spirit of condemnation comes upon you and the tears flow. But you are not your past, dear one. The devil is the accuser of the brethren. He wants to drag you into a prison of self-pity and a dungeon of depression and despair. Oh, my child, your past is not you. Your circumstance, circumstance is not you. I am here to lift you up. I am here to comfort you and wipe your tears. I am Abba, Father. I am not cha only change your present and your future, but I am able to change your past. Yes, beloved, I am able to make all things work together for your good, even those things which have gone before. I am not bound by time. I will take those things that have hurt you and even your mistakes and I will turn them around to cause goodness to come forth. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. I am the God who makes the impossible possible and the unseen seen. I give you beauty for ashes, streams in the desert, flowers blooming in the wasteland, this is what I do, dear one. I bring forth life from death, light out of darkness, joy from tears. You are not lost, my child. I have you by the hand. Renew your mind, precious one, by beholding my face and my word. Who you were yesterday is not who you will be tomorrow. Watch what I shall do in your life, beloved. Turn around, time is here. Suddenly your weeping shall turn to shouts of joy, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Turn around, an abrupt or unexpected change, especially one that results in a more favorable situation, complete change from a bad situation to a good situation, from one way of thinking to an opposite way of thinking. Webster's Psalm 35 Weeping may last for the night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. Isaiah 29.5 But the multitude of your enemies will become like fine dust, and the multitude of the ruthless ones like the chaff which blows away, and it will happen instantly, suddenly. Isaiah 48.3 I declared the former things long ago, and they went forth from my mouth, and I proclaimed them. Suddenly I acted, and they came to pass. Romans 8.28 And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. Amazing Artwork by Rebecca Friendlander July 25, 2019 Heard, the Lion of Judah is roaring, a great wave of justice is coming upon the earth. Beloved, I am decreeing justice for my children. I shall faithfully recompense my own. Hear the roar of the Lion of Judah. You have been justified freely by grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. I am the God of justice. I am the justifier of he who believes. Oh yes, beloved, I am he who loves justice. I am he who goes forth on your behalf as a warrior as a lion roaring, executing justice and maintaining the cause of the afflicted, 
the enemy shall not prevail, my child, for I have prevailed at the cross. You are justified by faith in the just one who died for you. By my word, waves of justice are coming upon the earth to recompense you for your suffering, to lift you upon the living waters. I am executing justice for the oppressed, giving food to the hungry, setting the prisoners free, opening blind eyes, and raising up those who are bowed down. You shall rise upon the waves of grace upon grace from my fullness, waves of glory, grace, and truth. Fear not, beloved, I am the God who comes down from heaven, who gathers the wind in my fist and the waters in my garment, who has <coughs> established the ends of the earth. I am shouting, I am crying aloud and roaring. See the glorious wave of justice coming, for I have prevailed against your enemies. Stand still this day, beloved, and see the salvation of your God. Isaiah 42.13 The Lord will go forth like a warrior. He will stir up his seal like a soldier. He will shout, yes, he will roar. He will prevail against his enemies. Isaiah 35.4 Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Isaiah 31, 4 For this is what the Lord has said to me, Like a lion roaring, or a young lion over its prey, And though a band of shepherds is called out against it, It is not terrified by their shouting, Or subdued by their clamor. So the Lord of hosts will come down, To do battle on Mount Zion and its heights. Proverbs 30, 4-5 who has ascended into heaven and descended, who has gathered the wind in his fist, who has wrapped the waters in his garment, who has established all the ends of the earth, what is his name or his son's name? Surely you know. Amos 5.24 But let justice roll on like many waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing river. Romans 3.24 being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood, to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time His righteousness, that He might be just and the justifier of Him, which believes in Jesus.